for with the gods, nothing was ever as it seemed. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at the 10 PSP games that are still worth playing. The PlayStation Portable saw a wealth of titles that helped the device sell millions upon millions of units. These are the ones we continue coming back to today. What's your favorite PSP game? Did it make our list? Let us know down in the comments. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Dissidia 012 Final Fantasy Wait, so you fought one of your allies? Why? I felt like it. What the hell title is that? Yes, we do have Dissidia Final Fantasy NT on PlayStation 4 and PC, but there are two problems with it. One, microtransactions. There's a ton of them, and it sucks. And two, support has ceased as of 2020, so there's no more new content, no more nothing, it is what it is. The original Dissidia remained supreme in the series for the simple fact that it didn't hold content hostage. On top of that, it was truly a unique take on a Final Fantasy fighting game, combining the format of arena fighters with RPG elements. But what has us crawling back to Dissidia 012? Well, we'll keep it short here. It's the expanded roster of characters. That That's really what we love about this game more than the original. Plus, Tifa isn't trapped behind a paywall. So there's that. Do we look like sidesteppers? Your little game ends here, kids! What, are you crazy? Loco Roco. If you're ever feeling down, might we prescribe to you a few cc's of Loco Roco. This tilt and tumble title was just constant cuteness wrapped up in a digital bundle of joy. Roll your Loco Roco around and grow or shrink to navigate the level and rescue all of your fellow companions. Between its bright colors and upbeat score, it's simply impossible to have a bad time when playing this classic. And the best part, all three games in the franchise, the remasters of the original Loco Roco, Loco Roco 2, and a port of Loco Roco Midnight Carnival, are all currently available to download on PlayStation 4 and 5. You should go and, and give these games a try. It's pure joy, man. Pure joy. Resistance Retribution. Oh, how we long for the day Resistance returns so that Sony can quit acting like Call of Duty is the be-all, end-all of FPS games. If we're not getting ports, remasters, or remakes of the original Resistance games, can we at the very least get Retribution? Sure, it's the black sheep of the franchise with its third-person camera, but it presented a different kind of experience compared to the explosive PS3 games. The health system made it feel a bit more arcadey, the cover system was streamlined a bit by removing the lack of requiring an input, and the multiplayer was just as fun as the main games. Also, big shout out to the checkpoint system, that's one overlooked thing with design these days. This is one of those rare cases where the checkpoint system makes the pacing perfect. Star Wars Lethal Alliance most would flock to the PSP Battlefront games, Elite Squadron and Rogue Squadron, they're, they're pretty good, but we'd take Lethal Alliance for variety's sake. In all honesty, Lethal Alliance did not get as much love as it should have. Some might scoff at the idea of a Star Wars game that doesn't give you a lightsaber, but what it does without it is surprisingly fun and unique. Those familiar with the Kyle Katarn games or Star Wars Bounty Hunter will enjoy the basic shooting mechanics and unique story about a Twi'lek mercenary hired to help bring down the Empire. Perhaps the LucasArts of today will revisit the story by hiring a studio to remake it, or at the very least, remaster it or port it over to modern hardware. Fat Princess Fistful of Cake While this was simply a handheld port of the PS3 game Fat Princess, Fistful of Cake is more or less the superior version of the game even if there were some visual sacrifices. For starters, Fistful of Cake offers up four new modes to the already addictive multiplayer in the form of Demolition, Jailbreak, Dilapidation, and Grim Reaper. 
These same modes would help expand the single player campaign as well as six exclusive maps. This port alone is why we would love to see one of the many Sony live service games supposedly being developed become Fat Princess. It, it would just work as a free to play game so long as you keep it tried and true to Fat Princess and not that dumb top down hack and slash Fat Princess adventures that was horrible and it wasn't Fat Princess. Pinball Heroes. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. If you haven't heard of Pinball Heroes, we don't blame you, as this was a game you could only download through the PSP's PlayStation Store. Developed by Sony San Diego Studio, the studio behind MLB The Show, Pinball Heroes was a collection of pinball tables based on various PlayStation titles, including Fat Princess, Uncharted, Pain, Mod Nation Racers, High Velocity Bowling, Hot Shots Golf, Wipeout, and MotorStorm. Each table was crafted with a clear understanding of how each game played, featuring different mechanics and events that truly captured the spirit of each IP. If you want to experience this classic for yourself, it is available for 10 bucks on PlayStation Store and includes both PS4 and PS5 ports. Pinball Heroes, unsung hero of the PSP, honestly, deserves way more love than it got. Patapon series. Speaking of PSP classics ported to modern hardware, the Patapon games have somewhat made their way to modern consoles. This trilogy of games tasks you with commanding a tribe of creatures, the Patapon, and help them survive an unforgiving world of ghastly creatures and environments. Simply input one of a few commands to the beat of their rhythm. It does get hectic between matching their beat to give commands and trying to keep them alive in general. And while you can play the first two games on PS4, Patapon 3 is sadly stranded on the PSP for some reason. Let's hope we can get that fixed in the near future and show everybody why Patapon is so great. God of War Ghost of Sparta. The first God of War PSP game, Chains of Olympus, was a promising start to Kratos' life on Sony's handheld, but between the two, Ghost of Sparta is the favorite among fans. The way it expands on the lore and Kratos' story is just excellent. And while the supposed lack of innovation was railed on by critics, we have to ask what exactly was there to innovate on when the combat is already solid and it still holds up. It's God of War. As long as the combat rocks and tells a fantastic story, that's all we need. Ghost of Sparta rocks, okay? The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Internet, we need to have a quick little powwow, all right? I'm going completely off script here. Why does no one talk about Legend of Heroes? Why? I need someone to answer that to me right now because I have been playing Trails in the Sky I'm having a blast, and the fact that this franchise is constantly not getting a spotlight, why? It, it's, it's been a ride for me, man. It has. The way that this game builds its world, the way it writes its characters, the way it keeps amping up the stakes, I'm, I'm infatuated, man. Go and get Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, alright? Or get any of the other ones. You want to talk about one of the most underrated JRPGs today? This is it, right here. Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. Our final entry, Daxter. Just give me the bug juice, Pops, and make it a double. Daxter is perhaps the poster child of stranded PSP games, as it is one of the very, very few Sony first party games to never be ported forward, backward, diagonal, slanted, anywhere. Taking place prior to the events of Jack 2, Daxter focuses on the Otzel and his time as an exterminator in Haven City. What follows is a brilliant action platformer featuring hilarious writing, tight combat, and an assortment of insanely fun dream sequences. We have all four of the PS2 Jack and Daxter games available on PS4. Why is Daxter left out in the cold? For your first job, I want you to go and take out all the loose bugs in the local hotel. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.